everybody, another night, another movie, and I just got done watching 1997's Mrs. Brown, starring Judy Dench, Billy Connolly, Anthony Scher, Jeffrey Palmer, and Gerald Butler. Uh, this one I've seen a good number of times over the years. Uh, uh, I think I saw it originally on TV, and I had the VHS at one point, uh, and I've seen it a couple of times since I got it on DVD. Um, for those who don't know, it's basically um, in the wake of uh, Prince Albert's death, uh, uh, Queen Victoria was absolutely inconsolable. She she just shut herself away, and and everybody that was uh, like looking after her, serving her, and stuff, they just couldn't do anything. All they were expected to do was stay there and just look after her, uh, and the country was kind of adrift. Uh, you know, with Parliament just carrying on with with no uh, uh, royal kind of input or overseeing. So, um, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. It's Jeffrey Palmer's character. Um, I, I know it, and I, my mind's just gone blank. Uh, so, one of the main. Um, uh, uh, AIDS, played by Jeffrey Palmer, um, who it must love working with Judy Dench considering how much they've done over the years, including As Time Goes By and then doing uh, like the, the James Bond movies together. Um, uh, he uh, recommends uh, somebody from, uh, from Scotland uh, who was friends with uh, Prince Albert uh, in the hope that um, he can help bring uh, Queen Victoria out of her shell. And that is John Brown, played by Billy Connolly. Uh, so this movie mainly focuses on uh, uh, Brown trying to, trying to get, you know, using his kind of northern kind of down-to-earthness to, to bring the Queen out of her shell a bit. And, and they, they formed a severe uh, friendship bond and in a way uh, Victoria sees it as like this last essence of Albert that she's got left kind of thing. Uh, but of course everybody gets in the way, you've got the journalists uh, spinning this whole Mrs Brown thing and, and the Parliament are just like yeah whatever. Um, and, and of course all the aides are totally resentful of uh, uh, John Brown because of course he's doing what they've not managed to do for years um, but yeah stuff gets in the way uh, the Queen's family get in the way and uh, John Brown kind of goes on this uh, spiral of alcoholism and stuff like that and, and gets really kind of obsessive over her and paranoid about her protection and, and stuff like that uh, and this goes on for like two decades, uh, and there's a spot, there's a spat after um, uh, Prime Minister Disraeli, Benjamin Disraeli, excellently played by Anthony Sher, um, kind of confronts Brown and says, you know, the 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 British people need their Queen. Uh, and forces Brown to kind of convince the Queen to, to come out of isolation kind of thing, which she is absolutely livid about because she put so much faith in, in how much Brown had let her be herself and, and although trying to bring her out a bit, she, she saw it that he was kind of facilitating her and being... Uh, understanding of her grieving period and stuff like that. So she sees this as a complete stab in the back. Um, so you ha so then they kind of come apart and, and Brown continues to watch over her, but they don't have that friendship. And then he falls ill and, and, and dies and stuff. And um, it's, it's such an emotional, uh, tumultuous kind of uh, movie. Um, so brilliantly played out by Judy Dench and Billy Connolly. Uh, Billy Connolly, who, for those who don't know, is an excellent, excellent stand-up comedian. Um, 
and you know he's done a good chunk of movies as well uh, and I'll probably talk more about his acting uh, when I do um, the review of Fido but he's done some brilliant roles in the past and I think this is easily one of his best it's just he has that cockiness but he has that emotional side and that protective side and and everything and it's really weird to see this like very outrageous character who I've kind of grown up with watching on stuff like comic relief and etc and etc et um, to be in such an emotional kind of uh, role uh, I mean he kind of did it again in a way in uh, the X-Files I want to believe um, but but this uh, was a big shocker for me at the time that I first saw it um, Judy Dench is her normal brilliant self, as is the rest of the cast. Uh, for what I know, this is Gerard Butler's first uh, movie role or something. Um, he is quite young in it, it's kind of funny to see. But, you know what, it's movies like this that I get a little tired of the more up-to-date British movies. You know, we used to make these light-hearted, like with the Carry On movies or... or, or you know, the James Bond movies and stuff like that. But here in England, we seem to have gotten in this rut of just making either period pieces or London gangster ruffian um, uh, kind of movies. And I know I know, I said in my, um, uh, my long uh, Freddy FR07 movie review, um, you know, it seems like there is this kind of stereotype when it comes to international audiences seeing what Brits are like. And I think a lot of movies now, unfortunately, try to play to those stereotypes so that they're accepted by the American uh, film industry or, or whatever. And it's so nice, although technically this is a period piece, it at the same time, it's not something like, say, Pride and Prejudice or, or one of those kind of Elizabethan or whatever um, uh, book adaptations. Um, this is so brilliantly told. I mean, like I say, yeah, it's set in 1863, between 1863 and 1884 or something. Um, but it's doesn't feel that old. I mean that sounds really silly because all the costumes and makeup are, are brilliant um, and there is so much beautiful Scotland, uh, the Highlands and stuff like that and um, even the, um, I can't imagine that they actually filmed at Osborne House on Isle of Wight but um, the set dressing and stuff is amazing um, and I think that is what we kind of succeed at is attention to detail. Um, but I do feel um, the British film industry have kind of gotten this rut and like I say this is a period piece uh, but it's a brilliant one and it's not stunted and it's not over dramatic and that um, I mean there is you know kind of drama and this is a drama it's a period drama literally um, but it, it's very heart-wrenching and difficult and when you see the different emotions going through them and and when you see the warring kind of emotionally and stuff and you know you see all the backstabbers in the you know, kind of being there the, you know kind of doing the evil finger twiddling and moustache twirling um it's it is a little cliched but it's a lot of fun and it's only an hour and 45 minutes long so uh, it's not painfully long or like uh, I think originally this was going to be like just televised or something um, but uh, some director that I can't remember who it was uh, somebody saw it and uh, put uh, some money behind it for it to have a theatrical release or so I heard um, and that's really sad to kind of think that this would have just been a TV piece. Um, I'm so glad it came out in the cinema because it's definitely worth checking out. Um, please, if you get the chance, if you like... I don't know how 
how over dramatized this is how if any of this is true or anything uh, there's no disclaimer at the end of the credits to say you know this is all fictional and stuff like that um so i don't know how if any of this is true my uh, victorian history is not that great um I'm, i was always into the uh, medicine side of history and stuff like that uh, I, I did medicine and history was my speciality so um, my general Victorian history is not great, uh, so I don't know what was going on uh, regarding uh, Victoria after the death of Albert. But um, this is just brilliant to watch. It's almost mesmerising at times. And like I say, some of the beautiful kind of landscape shots are amazing. Uh, but if you like dramas, if you like your period pieces, and if you want to check out some excellent Billy Connolly acting, um, Judy Dench is always on form, so you know you can pretty much pick up anything with her in. Uh, but please, if you definitely want to check out some decent Billy Connolly acting, um, or even check out Gerald Butler in his first movie role, uh, please do check out um, 1997's Mrs. Brown, or Her Majesty Mrs. Brown, or as I'm starting to hear that it's being known in in some parts. I don't know if that's because of the British sitcom now, Mrs. Brown's Boys or whatever it's called. But um yeah, no. Mrs. Brown. It's an excellent, excellent watch. Uh that was my movie for tonight. We'll be back again as always tomorrow. But for now, thanking you very much for watching and posting comments. This is Sketch. Signing out.